Okay, we, we come to the second of the uh, Amos videos, looking at the, <coughs> the themes of the book. And I've already mentioned the, the leading theme is that uh, worship that isn't supported by the pursuit of justice and fairness in the law courts is, um, is disgusting and it's an insult to God. In fact, it's, uh, the Amos use even, uses even stronger words. He says uh, that God absolutely hates it. And, uh, and God rejects it. And because of that, uh, the northern people, uh, the people of the northern kingdom were, um, uh, were, uh, were destroyed and banished and they lost their land. Um, the, uh, we see this in the New Testament, um, uh, in John's, uh, in the little letter of 1 John, at the end of chapter 4, uh, he says, He who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And that's, uh, that's the theme which comes comes through. Uh, this leads directly to uh, another crucial point, which is that the ethical commands and imperatives of God are universal, and they apply equally to all nations. And so consequently, uh, God's people in the northern kingdom, because they would not be example to an example of, what, uh, of how to live to the other nations around them, they became uh, uh, an example of God's of God's judgment, um, and that is absolutely what happened, and and there is a sobering um, uh, warning uh, in that for us. Now this takes us to the uh, the question of how we engage with this book. Uh, Amos is a delightful book, but it is actually quite hard to get into it. Uh, a lot of what he says is quite uh, pithy, quite staccato, and at times he uses forms of uh, uh, of language and uh, sentence construction, which is which is reasonably complicated to understand exactly what he's saying, and therefore. Um, uh, once again, using a good study Bible is, uh, uh, is, is very helpful. There's no substitute, of course, for reading through uh, the text several times, and if possible, try and read it at one sitting. There is a major division in the book. The first ch six chapters are all about the, the messages of judgment, and uh, the last three chapters are the visions of judgment. You might want to compare and contrast, particularly study the way that um, uh, the, 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 the pictures uh, at the beginning of chapter 7. It's very interesting. It's almost like Amos is growing in the in his prophetic uh, ministry and of course along with that goes this uh, ministry of intercession because uh, Amos really intercedes uh, so that, uh, for the people he doesn't like giving this message he intercedes for them so that they will be um, they will be protected from God's uh, God's decision but finally it's like a, a wall that's about to topple and Amos realizes that, uh, uh, that, that this is going to fall it's a question of when not if and uh, that's the picture the the, the plumb line picture the, the third uh, the, little picture there. Um, you need to look at your maps on this one. Uh, this is uh, Amos is going to make sense if you study the maps. Uh, get to the appropriate map at the back of the Bible and study it and see where Dan and Beersheba and Gilgit and Bethel are and look at the northern kingdom and, and the difference um, of where it is and where the boundaries are and just familiarise yourselves uh, with that. It makes a lot of sense uh, doing that. Look through the pod questions and then think about the situation in the world today, which of course the disparity between the rich and poor is a good deal more severe now than it was then. And uh, the wealth of the rich nations is massive and the poverty of the less developed nations is, uh, is an in serious contrast. And we Christians need to listen to that. We need to hear that. We need to see the um, disparity and think about what we can do uh, for justice and for the pursuit of, of helping uh, those uh, less uh, privileged than us, those who are disadvantaged. And we need to look at the effect of synchronistic religion. That's where the worship of, of God gets muddled up with, uh, with other worship. And we need to think about human trafficking. Indeed, one of, the pro one of the charities which Bible for Life supports is Hope for Justice, which is uh, working to... Uh, in this whole area of um, human trafficking, and you might want to to make a donation to that charity. It's on the it's on the final page section of the website. And uh, and lastly, ask the question as always. Now, what are we going to do about this? Uh, the, the Bible is there not just to be believed, but to be obeyed. And we need to listen to this message, and we need to do something about it. Okay, so um, uh, a fascinating book. Uh, enjoy engaging with it, and I'll look forward to uh, having a pod time with you in due course. Okay.